Hello! <laughs> so if you don't know me already, my name is Leela and I own Libby Vintage, a shop on Etsy where I sell vintage clothing and denim. And I also have an Instagram account where I love to create content around vintage clothing and share some behind the scenes and lifestyle stuff. And then every once in a while I really like to post on YouTube. I like to have a platform where I can share a longer haul if I have one. Um, so for this haul, I got the opportunity to join on a boys fishing trip. Um, so my boyfriend and his friend were going down to Syracuse, New York to fish for a steelhead um, in the Salmon River. So I was thinking why not just join, take a few days off, have a little vacation and do some sourcing down there. And I didn't realize how amazing the thrifting would be down there like I didn't get that much time in any of the stores but the time that I did spend was really fun and I found a lot of good stuff so I really wanted to show you that stuff I've got three bags here and we'll just go through item by item most of this stuff will be ending up on Etsy in my Etsy store and sometimes I end up putting things in my booth at the Fairfield Antiques Mall, but most of this stuff I paid up for compared to what I would probably spend on it here. So I only sourced um, higher quality items that will definitely be ending up going onto the Etsy site. So let's get into it. We're going to start with some shoes. Found a lot of shoes. I don't know what it is about shoes, but they've been doing really well for me in the shop. So I'm trying to do regular uh, footwear drops to keep up with that demand. But I found this really cute pair of little chunky loafers. Anything with this little stacked block heel does really well for me right now. I like the loafer style. Loafers have been doing really well. Paid $9 for these. Sort of a lot for a pair of shoes like that, but like I said, I know they're going to sell. I know they're going to do really well, so I'm willing to um, pay more for them. I love these. I just, when I saw these, I like started freaking out. They're so cool. They've got this mesh, like geometric design and like a box shaped toe, open toe. They're really high, chunky heel. I think these are so cool. Paid seven for these. They're so cute. I got these. Really, really cute. I just like the sort of stencil. What is that called when it's punched? Punched leather and a little lace up. Um, I don't think they've been worn at all, which is really always a good thing. Got stacked heel and I paid nine for these. Super, super cute. Uh, the brand is foot saver. I really like those. I've got two pairs of this style. So the first pair is in a blue and it's got sort of a stretchy material here and then a buckle on the side and a chunky heel. Really really cute little 90s heel and then I have that again in a black color. So that's always good for me on Etsy because I can like draft one listing and then copy the listing and just change the color basically if they're the same pair and that saves me a lot of time. I got more loafers. These are really cute sort of dark navy blue and I've actually seen purses made by this brand. I've never seen shoes made by this brand but they look super cute and I paid eight for those. And then... I got these really cute velvet heels that have like a cutout on the side here and sort of a nice sloped, I think this, is this a French, French heel? I don't know, I'm still learning <laughs> the different types of heels and uh, heel styles, but paid nine for those. I just really like the velvet part and the little detail here. I think they're really cute. The last pair of shoes I got were these classic bean boots. These may end up going into my booth at the Fairfield Antique Mall because they always seem to do well there whenever I bring them in, but I only paid nine for these. Um, so I've paid up for these in the past. Like I'll pay like 10 to $15 for these um, and be able to get 
maybe like 45 to 50 bucks for them um, at that particular antique mall. Um, not from my personal experience selling them. So that to me is a good return uh, for the mall. Um, so I was really happy to find those. And something I noticed with this haul is that I was able to find a lot of L.L. Bean, whereas sometimes when I'm looking for L.L. Bean in Maine, I can't really find it because everyone's looking for L.L. Bean in Maine. So getting to go down to New York and source a lot of L.L. Bean was really exciting. <laughs> so I love L.L. Bean. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the clothes. This is kind of a cool find. So I found this kind of satin texture maxi dress and here's the top of it. It's a velvet and then in the back it's got like strappiness going on there. But I have this same exact dress in like a maroon color that's in my personal collection. And so I haven't tried this one on yet to see if it will fit me, but it's one of my absolute favorite styles of dress and I was so excited to find it. Um, the one that I have is a mini length. This is a maxi length. So if it fits me, I'll keep it. But if it doesn't fit me, of course I'll sell it. And I think it's a really gorgeous and elegant piece. I found, I always pick up corduroy whenever I can find it. Um, oh, and I guess I am sharing prices on everything. That was $9.99. I found this really cute brown corduroy. I believe that's a maxi or at least a midi length. Paid $8 for this one. I know it's gonna do well on Etsy. It's a great layering piece. Um, I would literally wear this over this turtleneck that I'm wearing right now and it would just be so cute and cozy for the winter time. I love this dress. I don't really gravitate towards the color pink. I'm not usually picking up pink, but I just love this piece. All the detail in the knitting. So it's just like a kind of a mini length. Maybe it would actually end up being more of a midi length um, on, but I just love the scalloped edge and it does have a hole here that I have to mend, but no problem, I can mend that. And I paid eight for that one. Okay, I found, ooh, I just hit myself in the face with that. <laughs> I found this really cute, Erica and Co is not super old, it's maybe like late 90s, but um, I find that I really love their style. Um, so this is just like a dark, thin whale corduroy floral, dress with a little back tie. I just think it's so freaking adorable. So, so cute. And then after I found this dress, I found a bunch of other dresses in the same style. And I just basically had a panic attack in this store. I couldn't believe it. Um, so another one by Erica and Co. Um, but this one is like a button up with a collar and it has this like sort of cottagey prairie print with some words. I don't know what the words say, <laughs> but that's a maxi length and it has a tie in the back too. So cute. And then this dress, I really like, I'll have to try this on. Um, oh, and I probably paid eight for that one. I paid eight, eight for this one, but this one is L.L. Bean. It's got button down the top here, long sleeve, love me a good long sleeve dress and a really cute print there. And I do believe it has pockets. Yes, it has pockets. And one more of that similar corduroy, thin wheel corduroy style. Actually, this one wasn't corduroy, but this one is also L.O. Bean. Paid eight for this really cute purple floral long sleeve with pockets. That's the end of the first bag. So let's keep going. Doo, doo, doo. So this is only from three stores. So the first store that I went to, I spent maybe like an hour and a half in there and I picked so much stuff. I spent like $160. It was really a lot. And then a few days later, I um, went to two other stores, but I only had like 20 minutes in each store. So that was like a speed thrift round. And I found almost just as much stuff as I did at the one that I spent an hour and a half in. So um, this is a really cute, cute skirt. Has a little union 
label there, but I just really liked the pattern. It's like colorful, but not too colorful, kind of has a, a pastel-y vibe, which I really liked. Found this skirt, which is a Pendleton. I don't ever pick up Pendleton skirts unless they really speak to me. I've just had so many Pendleton skirts sit in my shop for, you know, months and months and months. But this one was a really pretty green and it has this gorgeous plaid, um, you know, pleat design. And I just thought it was really special. All wool, totally wool. It was only $6. So I had to get that. And then I stumbled upon a, a bunch of other skirts in this same skirt section. So this is a, just like a petite sophisticate, which is, or sophisticate, petite sophisticate. Um, really cute, I think this is rayon. Oh, it's actually acetate polyester blend, but really heavy and high quality, um, little red pleated mini skirt. Got that for $6. Then I found this one which is a red houndstooth, red and black houndstooth, um, high rise skirt with some pleats in the front there. Really, really cute little slit in the back. I got that one for six. I love this one. This is just, this could be such a versatile piece in your wardrobe and like go with so many other things. Um, so this is like the Villager Petite, a Liz Claiborne company, 65% wool super super cute mini wool pleated little academic light academia skirt six dollars on that one found this really nice like teal blue wide well corduroy skirt and i couldn't figure out what brand it was oh it's wool rich that's awesome this is like hidden down here in the pocket area all I could see was this, and it reminded me of a Woolrich tag, but I wasn't sure. But now we know. And I paid six for that. Got some denim in here too. I'm always on the search for denim, but it's it's very hard to find sometimes. I'll like go into a store and look through like all of the racks of denim and come up with no vintage denim. Um, but I found this, which is that same brand, Petite Sophisticate again. Um, but it's that nice, heavy, all cotton denim and just like a really simple mom jean, high rise, tapered leg cut. I got those for eight. I got these just because I love this brand and I always tend to pick it up, even though I'm not sure that these will do very well. But um, it's Sasson. That's the one where the ad, the old 1970s ad that's like, ooh la la, Sasson. Um, I love that ad. It's so cute. But... So this has like an elastic waist, high rise, um, somewhat tapered leg, just a, a cute everyday comfy jean. I paid six for those. I found this pair of Levi 505s in the men's section. Um, these are assembled in Mexico, but you can see the tag. Um, someday maybe I'll do a video on this, but um, these numbers right here will tell you the date. Um, that your jeans, that your vintage Levi's were made. So it was made October of the year 2000. So they are vintage. Um, just a nice, the 505 is such a classic wash. Um, and I got those for eight. I love these. I love this salmon color. Um, my boyfriend calls this the sunset color. And I have to agree but I paid seven for these. I got these at um, a different type of thrift store, but they're really cute. And they're just Arizona brand, but a really cute mom jean, high rise tapered leg fit. And then I got these mud jeans, um, just like a low rise flare leg fit. Um, just like a great Y2K style. I've been listing these on Depop. I do sell a little bit on Depop, not like seriously in any capacity, but I do enjoy selling on there. Uh, paid seven for those. Okay, that's the end of the second bag. So let's move on, last bag. I got this vintage Warwick jacket. Really nice jacket. This might go to the booth in Fairfield. I'm not quite sure. I did pay $12 for it. So I probably could get more of it, more for it 
on Etsy, so I might end up doing that. But just really nice vintage Woolrich. Fleece on the inside, kind of ski style jacket. I got this really nice. I believe it's 100% pure wool, Sears, Sears Superwash sweater. Just a really nice red wool sweater. I got that for $6. Then I got this other wool sweater, um, but I believe this one is from the 50s. It has that little cropped 50s style. Um, Knitted by Glasgow Angolura. Really cool. It has this really sweet, like double breasted button style over here. I'm sorry about the logging trucks that are going by, like maybe 30 or 40 feet from the house. I like these little fake pockets here too. Super cute. I got that for six. Oh, I was really happy to find this. This is so cute. Um, this is just a really nice knit sweater. It is 100% acrylic. Um, it's got a really nice old tag there. And pockets. Just a great, comfy, cozy acrylic knit. This is cool. I need to do some more research on this one, but it is um, Pendleton Sophisticates by sophisticate is it sophisticates or sophisticates because you know sometimes you say like that person is very sophisticated i think it might be sophisticates sophisticates i don't know i'm struggling with this one obviously but it's pendleton um but it's really cool it has it has um shoulder pads and it's all wool and i just really thought it was a gorgeous piece it has really unique um closures on the front what do they call that a toggle frog tog toggle thing oh this is something that i'll take to the fairfield antique small um i always take flannels there whenever i find them just a nice high quality flannel i paid seven for this one it's an acrylic poly blend but it's a really really nice plaid and flannels always do well at the antique mall this was the first thing I found um, out of all these stores. The first thing I found, and the minute I found it, I knew things were going to be good. This is a purple knit mohair. It is mohair acrylic nylon wool, but it's 53% mohair. It was $8 purple. Such a beautiful sweater with pockets and Someone removed, the Someone removed the shoulder pads and put them in the pockets. So if its new owner wants it to have shoulder pads, they have that option. And I spent eight on that one. This pile is growing. <laughs> it's in my, obstructing my view here. This is really cute. This is like just a little 90s clues. Um, little cropped blazer jacket. I just love stuff like this. Um, the back has a buckle, which I think is to die for cute size four, really sweet, $7. This is a really nice, um, knit shawl collar sweater, really nice and high quality. And it has that, um, handmade especially handmade tag that I love to find. So cute. And I paid $6 for that one. Okay, last item, and it is a special one. This is a fisherman style knit sweater in this bright red color. I don't usually buy colors this bright. It's not that I don't like them. I, I just, I don't like gravitate towards it. Um, but I thought this was so pretty. It is like, an Irish, made in Ireland, like an Irish knit sweater, but in this bright red color and just so beautiful. 100% pure merino wool, because I was feeling it and I was like, I can't believe this is wool, it's so soft. Um, 
does not feel like wool. It feels so, so soft. Um, but yeah, that's the last thing. Thanks for joining in with me on this haul. I had such a fun time in New York. I feel like, because I only got to go to three stores and had a really like small amount of time in each store, I almost feel like I could work it into my business model to go to Syracuse for the like express, um, express job of, or express need to source. Um, and nothing else, like just stay somewhere. Uh, Logan has family there that we can stay with probably. Um, and just, just source, um, and have that be the reason for being there. Cause it's so good. Um, and you know, there's only so many stores around here and I go to them all the time to source for my business, but you know, it gets like, they can only put out so much. So I think traveling and sourcing is something I'm really interested in doing gets me out of the house. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about all of these pieces. Um, you can follow me on, oh, the pile, <laughs> the pile went down, but you can follow me on Instagram to see behind the scenes, to see uh, when this stuff becomes available and to, um, just hang out with me on there. It's a fun, it's a fun place. And give me a follow on YouTube. If you want to see more stuff like this, I want to transition also to doing like, um, how to's like my shipping process. I want to show you guys, um, my studio how I run this uh, business selling vintage clothing that is completely handpicked. I don't wholesale source anything. I handpick it all myself. I list up to five items a day every single day um, to um, reach the goals that I'm trying to reach for my personal finances and for the growth of this business. So I want to share all of that with you guys. And if you're interested in that, definitely give me a follow and stick around uh, to see that and give this video a like and yeah that's about it um i really appreciate all of you whether you're just popping in here for your first time or whether you're an instagram follower or whatever um you guys are all the reason why i can do this and i just love um how supported i feel in this job in this uh, in this work that i do so thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video um, not sure when that will be. I don't reg usually regularly post on YouTube, but I'm trying to move in that direction. So I'll see you in my next video and thank you guys so much and have a happy holidays as well. Okay. Bye. Oh, how do you, how do they do that? <laughs> so much to learn.